A slender pile does not have much lateral load capacity. Because of this, load testing a slender pile can sometimes be a challenge to reach the compressive capacity of the pile without causing the pile to rack or lean. To prepare the pile for load testing, a thrust block will be formed around it to keep the pile from leaning. To ensure that the thrust block does not add any compressive capacity to the pile, a 6 inch diameter PVC pipe covered with grease and plastic sheeting will be inserted around the steel shaft of the pull down pile. The PVC pipe will act as a slip plane or bond breaker between the pile and the thrust block. This will allow the pile to move in the downward direction without being attached to the thrust block. The next day the PVC pipe is then topped off with grout. After the grout is fully set, the pile is then cut off at ground level to prepare it for the load test. A heavy plate is placed directly on the pile to ensure uniform bearing on the pile from the hydraulic jack. The center beam is then placed on cribbing for the hydraulic jack to react against. The cribbing is only to hold the beam in place until the load is applied. Care is taken to get the beam centered and level in order to get uniform loading on the pile. The cross beams are then placed to hold the center beam down. They will be attached to the four reaction piles. The reaction piles are non-grouted helical piles that will be extracted after the load test is complete. The reaction anchors are adapted to a high strength thread bar which allows for great adjustment. A plate and nut is then placed to hold the beams down. A 100 ton hydraulic jack is then placed and centered on the pile and center beam. The jack will apply the load to the pile. Two dial gauges are placed on both sides of the load test plate. These gauges will measure the downward movement of the pile as load is applied. A single dial gauge is placed on the concrete thrust block. This is to determine that the pile is moving independently of the thrust block. The dial gauges are independent of the test frame, so they are not affected by the movement of the test frame. Load is applied to the pile in increments, and movement of the pile is then recorded.